Today, we're going to be doing a full showcase of the Fortitude mod menu for Red Dead Online. If you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu, make sure you guys use the link down in the description. It'll take you over to wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. And if you guys use code wicked to check out, you know what it is. You'll get 5% off. All right, guys, it is the F5 button on your keyboard to open and close the menu. It also has full controller support as well. All right, let's uh, let's not waste any more time here. Starting off in the player section here, you do have your horse options. We should probably call our horse over. While we're waiting for that, we'll just kind of go over some of these different options here. You have your invis invincibility option for your horse. That's basically, you know, like God mode. It's going to keep your horse from dying. You also have your auto revive option, your fast health regeneration, your full cores for your horse and full gold cores. You also have your gold outer cores loop here as well. As, uh, uh, sorry, uh, your invisible options for your horse. Come here, Rabidou. Uh, let me jump on this guy here. Oops, come on, you can do it. All right, now that we're on the horse here, I can show you guys. Oh, I made it invisible. Apparently, it didn't like what I did to it there, so it ran away from me. All right, you do have your infinite stamina options here. No ragdoll. Stick to ground. Super run. Fire hooves. As you can see, that was already enabled. That thing's looking like an absolute beast over there. Your anti-flea. That's interesting. I had that enabled, and it still fled from me. Anyways, you have your horse scale multiplier. Your instant whistle. Ride on water. You can override the sex of the horse. Uh, that is the gender, for those of you who did not know what sex means in a video game. Uh, or, I guess, real life either. Okay. Anyways, continuing on here, you have your stomach size here in case you wanted to give your horse a massive stomach. Uh, you can have it so it can climb steep slopes, steep slopes prevent animal attacks horse is always calm you have your max bonding here already enabled your max agility courage and health speed stamina and level options here you can give it an electric mustache you can give it the horse gunner options here you can brush the horse inject the horse and uh, apply some other options here um, don't really know what that is though to be honest with you Continuing on here, all of the exact same options I just said, so I'm not gonna go over them, but for vehicles. So if you have a hunting wagon or a other vehicle of sorts in Red Dead Online, uh, all of those options are the exact same for the horse that I just went over for the vehicle. Down here in the outfit section, you can come down here and, um, you, let's see. Uh, oh, what? we actually don't have any saved outfits here. Is there, you can do your gold hat override options here. Um, I guess I did have an option. I'm trying to see if there's something I can show you guys here that would be cool. Uh, what option is this? What are we changing? I have no idea to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, armor. Uh, randomize your armor. Doesn't look to actually be changing anything. I gotta be doing something wrong. But for whatever reason, it's not changing it. Mm hmm. Apply outfit. Ah, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay, now you can see it changing. <laughs> All right, guys, that was my fault. I did not have the apply outfit option there. And now I have one that's constantly changing. Anyways, continuing on here. Um, oops. Uh, you have your style options here. Uh, your wariness of your character. Your the How they're standing up. Uh, you can, oops, let me get back in there. Uh, their walk style, uh, their body type, uh, as you guys can see, you can kind of change if you want a beefier character or a thin character. You have your waist type here as well. You can give her that thick waist. Uh, continuing on here, you have your horse whistle tuning, and that's about it for that option. Then you have your emotes in here. You can come in here. Whoa, look at that. Uh, okay, you can blow a kiss. Mwah! Uh, and that's about it for there. There's obviously tons and tons of options in here, but we could spend all day going through all of these options. Same thing in here, you have some different dance options here as well, different greeting options, um, uh, and different reactions here. You can clap, uh, and also taunting options down here as well. Uh, continuing on here, you have your particle effects. Uh, I don't um, I, I don't really mess with particle effects, but I'll try to show you guys. I don't know why that came out over there. You can see like they're just like different uh, like little animations going on around. You can see I'm dropping like fucking potatoes or something like that. Your bull kick animation here. I don't really get the point of this, but every mod menu has it, so uh, it's an option here as well. Um, all right, you have your anti-aim options here. This will basically stop people from dead eye marking you. Um, same thing down here. You have uh, the ability to do this and exclude friends. Uh, you have your change model option here as well, so you can come down here and become a legendary marble fox. Um, and then you can come also come up here, be a female. You can be this uh we'll just continue on here we'll be this person sure all right continuing actually no i don't want to be i don't want to be a skeleton uh a dead arrowhead um oh my god that is freaky um oh my god that's bad that's gross uh okay yeah we'll be 
this person. She looks nice and happy. Um, uh, all right. Um, uh, where were we? Player, uh, particle effects, scenarios, change model, grappling hook options here. Uh, if you enable this, it will basically just wherever you're pointing at the time, like I think it'll work like this. Uh, we can basically just grappling hook over here. God, that panther's a beast, bro. All right, continue on here. You have your pets options here. That's why we do have the cold cougar here enabled. I just disabled him. Now I've enabled him again and he's coming back. Uh, you can also have a cute crab as your pet, the fire fox. What's the fox say? Uh, and uh, continuing on here, you have your different scenarios here. You can come down here to a generic, like a sit in chair scenario. We can also stop that scenario. Absolutely tons of scenarios in here. Again, these are one of the options that you could literally go over forever in here. So I don't really see the reason to sit in here and do that. Uh, you have your night vision option here as well. Your play speech. What's this? Is this like gonna... I think... Yeah, all right, now she's talking. All right, I was waiting for her to start talking. Um, every, geez, every time I back out of the menu, it puts me all the way back. All right, uh, play speech. You can change your voice here, special mounts, utility options here. You can enjoy a coffee. Um, although I have to, come on. All right, it eventually, once the lady finished drinking her coffee, it eventually kind of fixed itself, but it definitely took a couple minutes there. That was weird. Um, all right, uh, you, so here you have your regular player options down here, your invincibility, never wanted, your bounty automations here, no bounty hunters. You can end the police pursuit if they're coming after you. You can go invisible. Um, you have your no ragdoll options here as well, no melee, fast run, super jump. Um, you guys want to see a super jump? I know people always get triggered when I sit here and like, we'll show this, but I will like skip over some stupid scenario or something. So I will show you, oh my God, this poor lady. Um, wow, the, the fox made it though, untouched. Uh, all right, uh, turn this off. You have your super swim options here, stick to ground, your no clip options. You guys want to no clip, I will show you. No clipping, oh, we are no clipping through the map. Uh, mm, uh, okay, uh, where do we wanna go? Uh, Sure, let's go. Yeah, sure. Here. Oh my god, this poor lady. Oh my god, man, that fox is a champ. You have your no clip speed options here ground no clip, uh, third person camera zoom. You can prevent your idle kick in case you want to go make a sandwich without getting kicked out of the lobby. Uh, you have your anti fall options here prevent NPCs from attacking you. Balls of mystery. I have no idea what these are, but I guess that's why they call them balls of mystery. Uh, you have your low hostility mode here. You can become drunk um, and instant animal skinning. Kind of a nice option if you're hunting, but I don't know why you'd hunt if you have a mod menu. And your suicide option there as well. Coming into the network section here, I'll show you guys my character here. Uh, you can add them to your safe list here. You can teleport right to the player, but it is myself, so I can't teleport to myself. You can mute their voice chat. Uh, you can copy all of their information. You can clone their model outfit. You can spectate them. You have your spawner down here where you can spawn them in gold bars. As you guys can see, gold bars just spawn in there. Uh, you, you can also send them money, coins, heirlooms, bracelets, earrings, necklaces, rings. Really great options if you're trying to help your friend get a little bit of money. Um, and then there's some other friendly options down here as well, like giving them anti-aim, giving them an explosion gun, auto heal, auto revive, fire hooves, and anti-hog tie. Interesting. All right. Continuing on here, you do have your spoofing set up here where you can enable like Rockstar ID spoofing. You have your synchronization. I don't know what you'd be synchronizing, uh, but you have your miscellaneous options here where you can display the PVP uh, leaderboard. I actually saw that up there earlier and I didn't like it, so I'm going to disable that. And you can also bypass the profanity filter so when people swear in chat, it'll actually show them swearing in chat. Uh, but for YouTube's sake, we'll keep that stuff out of the video. You have your fortitude of presence options here. You can put yourself in passive mode or passive mode notify. Uh, this will notify you if a fortitude user toggles passive mode. Okay, I don't know why you'd want to know that, but nonetheless, it is an option. You have your player, sor player search here and lobby joiner. You can also leave the session from here. Uh, you have your weapons options here where you have aimbot, you have an explosion gun. Um, I don't have any guns though, unfortunately. Uh, anyways, you do have a grappling gun here, your predator missile. This is kind of a cool option uh, if you want to predator missile yourself. I assume all those red things on the map are um, uh, like animals maybe? Oh no, what's that? Did that really just kill that? <gasps> Look at all the dead fish. What the heck? Did we just, 
what? Did we just like shock the water? I didn't know if you blew up stuff in the water, it would uh, uh, kill the fish. That's interesting. You have your grappling gun. You can enable meteors here as well. Uh, ICBM launcher. I have no idea what that is. Uh, you have your draw gun, one shot kill. You have your weapage damage multiplier. You have your mega punch options. I wonder if it will let me like mega punch. Uh, mm, this lady's in slow motion right now for some reason. I don't know, maybe I like can't do anything with her because she's a bot, I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, you have your teleport options here. You can custom go to custom locations. If you wanna go to Saint, Saint Denis down here, you can go to the uh, Holdern Barber. Just like that, eventually the game will load in. Sorry, my computer's graphics are not the best here. Uh, and basically, yeah, uh, just basically come around here. There's also the teleport to waypoint and auto teleport options. Um, you have your teleport to Gus Harriet, the moonshine shack to a train. Pretty great options there. You do have your creator modes here where you can go into custom animations. I don't really ever mess around in this section of the menu, so I don't really know what I could show you here. Um, but it doesn't really look like there's probably anything here. There is a Lewis scripts option, but you guys know I don't really screw with Lewis scripts. You have your ESP options. You can see I enable this and it shows you all of the other people on the map. Uh, you have your role assistance options where you can do background loops. Uh, there's a uh, rewards loop here so it'll just give you absolutely tons of rewards you can give you get a roll booster here like your, for your uh, bounty hunter uh, it'll auto hog tie things your moonshine and your naturalist the trader one uh, you can uh, trade trader resupply booster um, uh, so that gives you a boost when you actually sell it uh, you can horse bonding uh, XP booster here as well and prevent prevent camp raids. Uh, you have your sentry options here. It's like a uh, uh, a like a bodyguard option, I believe. Um, I don't really mess around in here. Um, how do you spawn them in? What's this panic mode? Um, used with care blocks everything entirely. Ah, oh no, sorry guys, I'm an idiot. It's not a bodyguard mode, it's freaking uh, protection. Sorry, uh, I'm an idiot. Anyways, continue on here. I believe it pretty much, uh, if you turn on auto protect, it'll basically enable everything that it believes that you need enabled. You have your settings options here. Um, the really only thing in here you need to look at is probably the user interface. You can come over here and move the menu around wherever you want it. Uh, you guys will see I do have a option there off the screen. That option that's over there typically shows like IP addresses and stuff when you're in the network section. That's why I kind of have it positioned off of the screen. Um, you do have your spawner options here where you can spawn in things like uh, NPCs. Like we can spawn in... I'm um, trying to spawn in. Mm spawn them is oh my god they're all just spawning dead uh that's awkward <laughs> okay anyways um any other things in here you guys need to know about uh, i guess oh so in here in the spawn settings you can spawn them as your guard you can spawn them dead what's cool about this is if you come down here to the animal section legendary animals you can get like the golden spirit i'll spawn in a bunch of things here real quick so you can kind of see all of them basically you spawn them in dead you'd be able to immediately go take them over uh to uh, crips and get some uh, good trader points there. Uh, other than that, I believe that's just about it. The world options down here is the last thing, um, which I believe if we come down here, you can adjust the time of the day to kind of whatever you want. And um, uh, oh my god, that was a big fox. What's the fox say? Um, I'm just trying to get a little thumbnail picture here. Maybe that will. I guess okay uh, you can also adjust your wind speed here and the world brightness but guys that's about it if you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu make sure you guys use the link in the description I'll take you over to wickedgamers.com that's gamers with a z all right guys that's it I love you I'll see you in the next video peace out yeah